Hi Adit. Hello. What are you doing? I just want to measure the inner and outer diameter of this bearing by using this stuff. Okay, that's great. But do you know how to use this instrument? Not exactly. I am doing just casually. Can you explain it to me? Yeah, sure. Come on, let's okay. know about it. This instrument is called vernier caliper. It gives very accurate linear measurement. It was introduced by Pierre Vernier of France and it is widely used in scientific laboratories and man manufacturing units. Oh. The vernier calipers consist of a main scales fitted with a jaw at one end, another jaw containing the vernier scale here you can see mm -hmm. continue the vernier scale which can move on this uh, this main scale. Main scale. So this vernier scale is sliding scale which can slide on the main scale and it gives the reading which is fraction of the division on the main scale. Oh. Okay. It has two jaws. This, this bigger jaw is used to find the outer diameter of any cylinder or any sphere any. and this, this, this uh, smaller jaw is called the inner jaw which, which is used to find the inner diameter of the cylinder. Oh. Or if you have this uh, uh, this uh, uh, bearing, then you can find the inner diameter of this bearing by using this smaller jaw, which is called inner jaw. Okay, and the outer diameter of the bearing can be found by using this uh, bigger jaw, which is called outer outer jaw. Right, and this thin strip is used to find the depth of any object. Okay, the so principle of the vernier is caliper is the graduation of the vernier scale is such that the length of n division on the vernier scale is equal to n minus 1 division on the main scale. So here in this caliper there are 10 division on the vernier, vernier scale which is equal to the 9 division on the main scale. Okay. Oh. Here the 1 division on the main scale is 1 mm that is the 10 division on the vernier scale is equal to 9 mm. Okay. Oh. So, one division on the vernier scale will be 0 0.9. Now, let's see what is the least count of the vernier caliper. So, the least count of the vernier caliper is one main scale division minus one vernier scale division. So, one main scale division is 1 mm and one vernier scale division is 0 0.9 mm. So, least count will be 1 minus 0 0.9 that is 0 0.1 0 .1 mm. Right. There is another way to find the list count, which is value of the one main scale division by total division on the vernier scale. Oh. So here the value of one main scale division is 1 mm and the total division on the vernier scale is 10. So the list count is 1 by 10 that is 0 0.1 mm. Oh. Okay, so this is the another way to find the list count. So there are two ways. One is one main scale division minus one vernier scale division. Right? And the another way is, way is one main scale division divided by number of division on the vernier scale. scale right the list count in this case is also known as the vernier constant do you have any idea about the zero error of this vernier caliper not exactly i don't have any idea about it okay let me explain when the two jaws are in contact okay then the zero of the vernier scale and zero of the main scale should coincide and if it's so then the zero error is zero so there will be no zero error, mm -hmm. right? But there is some manufacturing defect and due to this, the zero of the vernier scale either falls before of the zero of the main scale or falls after of the zero of the main scale. So there will be two type of zero error, one positive zero error and one negative zero error. The positive zero error occurs when the zero of the vernier scale falls after the zero of the main scale, okay? So here you can see in the diagram, the third division of the vernier scale from the left coincides with the main scale division. That's why the zero error is 0 0.3 mm. 0 0.3 mm. mm. right? Because you have least con 0 0.1 mm. mm. So since third division is coinciding with the main scale division, third division of the vernier scale coinciding with the main scale division, that's why the zero error is 0 0.3 mm. Mm. Oh. In the same way, there is a negative zero error. So negative zero error occurs when the zero of the vernier scale falls before the zero of the main scale. So here you can see in the another diagram, 
so here the seventh position of the zero of the Bernier scale from the left coincide with the main scale division so that's why in this case the zero error is not 0 0.7 mm it is 0 0.7 minus 1 mm and it will give you the minus of 0 0.3 mm okay now let's measure the outer diameter of this battery okay so first you have to measure the zero error of this Bernier yes, uh, caliper so zero error of this vernier caliper is okay so here since zero of the vernier and zero of the main scale both are coinciding with each other that means the zero error of this uh, vernier caliper is zero. zero okay note down the main scale reading okay so here you can see there are two types of graduation one in centimeter and one in inch and we are taking the reading in centimeter okay so for the main scale reading we have to see that zero of the where the zero of the vernier scale falls so here the zero of the vernier scale falls after the 5.2 cm okay so it means the main scale reading is 5.2 cm oh right but what is the vernier scale reading so since the second position of the vernier scale division from the left coincide with the main scale division so the vernier scale reading will be 2 into list count and our list count is 0 0.1 mm so the vernier scale reading is 0 0.2 mm so if oh. nth nth division on the vernier scale from the left coincide with the main scale division then the vernier scale reading will be n times list count so here second position coincide with the main scale division yeah that's why the vernier scale reading will be 2 times 0 0.1 mm. our list count is 0 0.1 right so the final reading will be main scale reading plus vernier scale reading minus of zero error so in our case zero error is zero so our the final result will be 52 plus mm. plus uh, uh, 0.2 mm. mm. so it will be 52.2 mm. mm. yeah right okay and if you want to find the accurate outer di diameter of this bearing then you have to take maximum number of observations so let's we, we can take 10 observations if you have 10 observations okay then you have to uh, take the sum of the readings of all observations and then divide, divide it by 10 so it will be a mean observed reading and it will give you a very accurate measurement of this water diameter oh. right yeah. in the same way you can find the inner diameter also and for the inner diameter of this bearing you have to use this uh, inner jaws okay and take the readings and follow the same procedure which i have followed for the water diameter right okay so i hope you could understand now yeah yeah i can measure any in your dimension by using this stuff or uh, uh, vernier caliper thank you so much